Welcome back. We remain the old election command center. It's getting to manifesto check. Right? And I'm promises made and promises being made going into this election. And the Zango communities also have an expectation. They are an integral part of the demographic, is it not? Really? Yeah. And most of the, I mean, the parties, knowing this, try to tap into that constituency to get as many votes as possible from those constituencies. So usually they make promises that are targeted at the Zongo communities. Mm -hmm. But let's take a look at this uh, video. I think this is something that happened over the weekend mm -hmm. so that we can put it in proper context. And that will link us to our manifesto check for today. Obesity hospital, no obesity much. Open hospital and upper much. Open hospital and upper much. Obama says, 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 Obama So that's Matthew Opoku Prempe, running mate for uh, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. He was campaigning somewhere in Kranza, where he makes the case that if the people in the Zongo community vote for the NDC, mm -hmm. they will come and break down their mosques and build mocks for them. This is not the first time we are hearing some conversation about how the NDC supposedly is building uh, mocks for people in the Zongo communities and then the MPP is either building schools or something else. Somewhere 2020, uh, September 2020, mm -hmm. that was in the run-up to the 2020 election, right. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia also had a similar thing to say about how the MPP would be building schools for the Zongo communities, and then the NDC would be building mocks for the communities. Let's take a look at that particular video as well. Mm -hmm. This was in September 2020. <laughs> Every region be a BC model senior high school Amazongo communities. And any na ye can say ye de ye penim de ye. Enye mochiri na ye BC Amamu. Enye mochiri na ye BC Amazongo for ye BC schools. Na ye kwano omanya nim de ye. Ye pem Mochiri, you have pay free education. You pay mm -hmm. So you would notice that this is the same script that, I mean, Baumia now, the flag bearer, his running mate, uh, Dr. Matthew Pogo Prempe is also oh, reading from. Back. Exactly. But what is this mock thing all about? When you look at the NDC manifesto 2020, they actually had a promise where they said that they were going to facilitate the establishment of mocks in accordance with Islamic customs and practice. That's so mantra. this, yes, so this is the, the promise that they keep referring to that the MPP, I mean the NDC, promised the Zongo communities to build mocks for them. And has it been repeated in the 2024? That has been repeated in the 2024 manifesto, okay. where it is captured as saying that they want to establish Islamic mocks at some major hospitals for the early retrieval and burial of corpses. Corpses according to Islamic customs. And that's a major issue, right? Exactly. Because for the Islamic community, this challenge yes of it, it's a big challenge for them and the, the ndc thinks that it is something that they can provide for this is so this is with the context within which you hear this conversation about ndc wanting to build mocks for the zongo communities but then again if you listen to Baumia carefully where he mm -hmm. talks about the mpp wanting to build senior high school a model in zongo senior high schools for the zongo communities that was a promise that they made to the people of the zongo communities Mm. That was in 2020, where they said that through the Zongo Development Fund, in collaboration with Get Fund, they were going to build 16 model senior high schools in Zongo communities across the 16 regions of the country. This means that each region was supposed to get what they called a model Zongo senior high school. Mm -hmm. This has been repeated in 2024. Now, when you ask the question, what has become of the promise that has been made in 2020, where are the 16 Zongo model senior high schools? I mean, I don't know where they are. The man in charge, we've spoken to him, the man in charge of the, the Zongo um, Development Fund, in fact, the Zongo Development Secretariat, 
that's Ben Abdallah Banda. Mm -hmm. We spoke to him somewhere in March, and he clearly admitted that as of March, nothing had been done yet except that drawings were ready, but he was in the building. Let's just take a, 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 a listen to him. There were some module schools that were going to be built for Zongo communities. What is the current status of uh, those uh, module schools? All the 16 regions. Yes, all the drawings, all the lands, the plots, the parcels of lands have been acquired. The drawings are ready. Yes, we said it. And we're going to deliver on our promise. We are waiting for the resources to commence um, the construction of same. We want to at least start three uh, by the end um, of this year. And then in, in next year, inshallah, when Vice President becomes the President, then we'll continue. I, I see. Yes, so, I mean, clearly, he's admitted that as of March, nothing really had been done except that they had secured lands, mm. um, drawings were ready, and that they were going to start three. When the, the president, the vice president was asked, yes, during his press engagement, yes. he also did admit that um, nothing really has been done in that, in that regard. And it is in that regard that you find it, that construct 16 senior high school, repeated, repeated in the, in the 2024 24. manifesto. I see. So we are talking, I mean, this was something that the president, I mean, excuse my language, but bragged so much about to say that for them, they will give schools, not mocks. Now mm -hmm. we are in 2024. There's no school. When was the first show. time that promise was made that the model schools for the Zango community, the 16 models? Well, as far as we checked, that was in 2020. 2020. So yes. four years so on. So four years. We are still having the same thing that has been and done. So not even one has been constructed. No, as we speak. So, see. And um, the verdict always is with it's, the it's people. With the Zango people. Yeah, for this one, it's for, with the Zango people to decide. Say Zango. Zango. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but. Um, Dennis Barberi with them, it's a manifesto checker here. You know, trust that we will get into it and certainly let you know what's happening and they're here on your election command center. But there's some news just coming in. There's, there's, uh, the, the special prosecutor has been petitioned to investigate the involvement of the vice president, that's the flag bearer of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, in the PDS scandal. The petitioners are citizens of Ghana with special interest in the fight against corruption and are in pursuance of their rights as citizens submitting this petition to the Office of Special Prosecutor to investigate the above stated subject matter and they give a general overview about the whole PDS scandal 2019 October all the way. Essentially, the thrust of this petition is for the Special Prosecutor to investigate the reported involvement of the vice president in this PDS scandal. That's going to be exactly what they're asking the special prosecutor to do. And there's this news coming through. We'll keep an eye on that. We're back shortly after this quick break here on Ghana Tonight. Some more. Stay with us. <laughs>